does it give me the same output? Evaluate expression versus evaluate expression versus evaluate expression versus evaluate expression bands. Same output right. But it was simpler and smarter. Right. But, like I said, it is very specific. So it is not as versatile as evaluate expression. It is nice. It's very good, but it is not as versatile. It is use case specific. Right. Now let me show you one more calculated feat. It is even simpler for the particular use case that we are doing. So let's use another calculation. This one is even more specific for this kind of like deriving bands or deriving ranges from an existing numeric or a currency field. So here we will call it a CF. It is a W, W, and then LR, P, or a lookup range band. Here we will say, identify experience bands from years of service. All right. Worker. Worker. And LRP. Lookup range band. Right. Lookup range band. Click OK. But here we have one thing which is good. Let me just copy the field where we have extracted the number of years. This one. In this calculated field, it asks you, what is the source field on which you are trying to do the calculation? So I will put the number, the numeric one, the number of years of service, from the length. Right. Then it says, what decimal, how many decimal places, do you want for your calculation? Well, we don't want any because we are dealing with integers, but you can go up to four places of decimal. Okay, you can select up to four places of decimal, but we do not care, because we are dealing with integers only. All right. Rounding. Round down, round half down, round up and round. So you have the four options of rounding. So if your data has five places, or maybe you are looking for zero places of decimal, but your data has more than zero, it has one, two, three, for places of decimal. So how will you allow for that? So are you going to round it? Okay. So, depending on the type of data you can choose, like that recruiter friend of mine who made my 10 years 7 months of experience into 10 years. What did she do actually? Which rounding did she do? She rounded down. Right. But then there was my team lead, whom I said he was proposing me for a position for a customer, and he said, hey, for this we need a person with like around seven years of experience. I said, okay, my relevant experience is only six and a half at max. And so yeah, and he said, yeah, anyway, it's more than six, right? Yeah, so we will say it's seven. So what did he do for me? Round up. He did a round up. Right. He said, okay, more than six means it's seven. So that is the thing with rounding. Right, you can round it down. 
you can round it up. If it is rounding half now, then what does that mean? If I'm saying, okay, it is six years and eight months, or maybe six years and nine months, then what would it be round half down meaning? 6.4 6.5 It will be 6.5 6 and a half Okay, if it was 7.2, it will be rounded to 7. Right. So it will be 7.2, will be rounded down to 7. If it was 7.8, it will be rounded to 7.5. Right. It will be rounded half down. All right. Okay. So we will say round because we actually do not care about that, because all our data is, in this case, the data is integers. So we are not. We don't need rounding. All right. So now. Here in the, in the, in this grid, you see, we don't have to specify anything at all. We just have to define the range as 0 to 7. What was the value? Amateur. 0 to 7, of which field? Amateur. It's right here at the top. Right. 0 to 7 of this field. Here we have only one field as a source of data. So all the values that we are giving in the grid. Are possible values of that particular field? Okay, now let's keep adding. You see, automatically it becomes 8, from 0 to 7. Automatically. The next one starts with 8. So I mean, it is designed for this. It's perfect for this kind of thing. So 8 to 15, we say it is experienced. Let's add something here. The next one automatically has 16 in it. So 16 to 30, we said it is the senior. Okay. And if I add another one, automatically it is 31. It starts with 31. But here we have to give a higher, I mean a top limit. Okay, we cannot leave it as zero. We have to give a value. So let's give it as 1000. Right. I'm not expecting anybody to have 1000 years of experience. So I'm just putting it a value large enough for me to handle this. So it is legit. Okay, but you see the beauty of this calculated field. I'm just giving the ranges, and I'm giving the related values that I want. And I'm absolutely. I have the flexibility to add anything. I don't have to create and store it in a calculated field and then use it in this calculation. Isn't it? It is all so nice. Click OK to save this. So fast. But again, again, there is a limitation with this. The LRB can only convert a range of data into individual bands. It cannot do anything else. It is good at doing that. Definitely it is good at doing that. But it cannot do anything else. Okay if you are dealing with something like a text criteria. Okay, if the first name contains A, then do something. If the location is such and such, do something. Right. 
If that is the requirement, would you be able to use an LRB? No. No right. Because an LRB can only work with a numeric or a currency field where there is a number. And its base, its whole objective or its whole capability is to convert that numeric range into a number. Into bands. It will do well. It will do well if you have another example, like, let's say, you want to categorize your maybe salaries. Right. What is the minimum salary in the organization? Maybe you have $10,000. Right. And you have the top level as, let's say, 1 million. Is this million? Have I put? No. Have I put everything correctly? One, two looks like it. Right? Anyway, let's put it like this. Okay, so this is the range of pay. Okay. So you want to categorize, and you want to say okay, between 10 to maybe 50,000. Right. We will call them as low. Right. Between 50,000, 1, till 150,000. We will call them as medium right. And if it is more than 150,000, we will call them as high. Right. So what are we doing here? There was a numeric range. This is the minimum value. There's a maximum value and all the employees are between these range. Okay, so now we are converting that range into bands. Whether a worker is having a low salary or a medium salary or a high salary. Correct. So this, in this case, which function would you use? Evaluate expression, evaluate expression band or lookup range band. Yeah, the lookup range band will perform the best on this, because it is simple, no frills. So lookup range band might be the best for this particular situation. Correct.